All right, back of the bus, back at it again with another episode reaction of The Penguin. This time we are catching up on episodes four and five. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe to the channel uh, to make sure that you tune in and see what we think about The Penguin. And obviously make sure you like the video, uh, you know, obviously help us out on the algorithm and whatnot. All right. All right. So with episode four, and I find this episode a little bit funny because we had a comment in one of our last videos about episode four and it not apparently this person not thinking that it was as good as uh some of the other episodes it before. was the highest rated uh episode of the season so far i i think it was really good i think uh it, it did a really good job of setting us up with sophia and kind of letting us know what happened uh prior to the happenings of this uh of the tv show I feel like it clocked in around somewhere around like 14 million maybe i mean i probably fudging the numbers a bit but it was a lot yeah, I'm, I'm I'm fairly sure it was the most viewed uh, episode of the season. I liked it because they didn't waste time in the earlier episodes. I think where a lot of writers' rooms would have explaining backstory, explaining relationships, you know, kind of unfolding what the foundation of you know this uh, this enterprise or the you know the the criminal world in Gotham is. They kind of allowed that to build itself up as they were going along with, with the main viewpoint being Oz. So they, they break from that in this episode and they go down. Sophia's, you know, her, her backstory a bit and kind of fills in the holes where, you know, they've been mentioning stuff. Oh, the hangman. Oh, you stitched on me. And, and, you know, we haven't really been privy to exactly what's going on, but you can kind of read through the lines and see what happened. Um, mm -hmm. But now they add all the context towards it. Right. So, you know, you never really know whether or not the whole ang hangman angle was Oz's idea yeah. because he's a, he's a he's a friggin liar with a lying face backstabber. And so, and so you have no clue whether or not that was him or Carmine. Right. Mm -hmm. Because they are both equally capable of doing that to Sophia um, in spite of their love for her. So it, it was kind of like a, a, a sick, sick relationship in that way which ultimately breaks her when she finds out Oz is exactly like her father and that there is really no one of that type of archetype that she can truly trust. So she becomes her own monster, you mm -hmm. know, offs her whole family. And now she's a bigger, badder boss because of it, not even going by Falcone anymore. We're, uh, G is it Giamante? Not Giamani. Gigante. Gigante. The Gigantes. We're the Gigantes now. <laughs> yeah. Well, she didn't kill everybody in the family. She didn't kill everybody in the family. She she made sure that she saved. Uh, what was that her her niece or cousin? I don't know. Little girl. Oh yeah, the little girl. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Uh, and then actually, she made sure she saved uh, Johnny Vitti just to end up offing him later on when she gives everybody the cash. Man, which I, thought was I don't crazy. know why Homeboy didn't learn from being in bondage for the short time he was, but you can see it didn't it didn't suit him at all. It didn't fit him at all. No, at the all. The first at opportunity all. he had to try to reassert himself, he caught a bullet, caught a slug. It's crazy, but not that crazy. Um, because that's she's establishing a new world order, and then if she is, you know, pitching a clean break from the 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 uh, Falcon regime, it's a hard sell to have uh, Johnny Vitti there because I mean he's been the underboss for the last two bosses of the fi uh, Falcon crime back, uh, family, so it's mm -hmm. a hard sell to be like, oh yeah, you know, this is newer, better organization. Fuck those old guys that didn't make any of you, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but we still got a good old boy here. You know, it, it just didn't, it, it, it wasn't going to work anyway. So it almost felt like she kept him around as like a, a show of strength, right? To, yeah. to, to do what she did. And he just provided her a very good opportunity to get that out the way. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. So I mentioned, you know, that it seemed like some people didn't like it. I think they did a really good job of entering this at a, at a, very interesting point because obviously in the actual timeline we have basically just ditched uh sophia uh, obviously oz and vic just completely ditched her and so now we're going into this you know uh prelude if you will and i think this episode did a really good job at, at well this entire series has done a really good job at 
highlighting her acting when it comes to Sophia. But this episode she is cold as a character, yeah. as an actor. She she's nice. She's mm -hmm. nice. I don't want her anywhere near Marvel Studios. I don't want them to ruin her. You know, you, you go do some Bloomhouse or some some A24. Leave. Uh, yeah. Don't don't nobody scoop her up to play anything. But she's she's great. I like her. Facts. Yeah, we see her from like completely normal, uh, going to different meetings for the family, and then you know we end up to where she's completely broken and. Yeah, she emotes very well, so she's able to show you different versions of the same character, right? Mm -hmm. Like there, there's so many dead face actors in Hollywood that like they're trying to show you a character uh, a shift or or, or, or a break. And in, in, in the philosophy of the character, and it just never really comes off the way it, it, it's supposed to on film. She's very good at that, man. She is, she's like I said, she emotes very well. I agree. I don't know if you said this, but it, it's in the eyes, it seems like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's got those eyes. She got the crazy eyes. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Uh, okay. Any other thoughts about episode four at all? Uh, nope, nope, nope. That was pretty straightforward. A uh, homeboy from Luke Cage got a weird little fetish for her. He wants to be a simp. He wants to be her her submissive. He does. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I want you to take my life and do whatever you want with it. I'm down for whatever's next. Damn my medical <laughs> career. I'm yeah, down for crime, baby. If there's one thing that I found weird, I don't know if I would call this a negative. It's that they didn't really highlight what his reasoning would be to to become that. Uh, they maybe, just kind of showed his. Maybe yeah. Uh, 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 maybe yet to be seen. Maybe True. yet to be seen. Let's not take it on, you know, uh, uh, on faith that it's just, you know, and he's just plainly what he appears to be right now. Although, you know, I, I guess we are kind of winding down. We're kind of on the back half of the season. You like to see the some of the side plots starting to tighten up a little bit. But, um, and I mean, they, 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 you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There, there's room for a turn there for sure. Yeah. Um, what else? It just seems what like else? fascination so far, but we'll see, like you said. Right, right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into episode five. Uh, with this one, obviously, we start where we ended up on the previous episode, like I said, where uh, they just kind of left uh, Sophia to be. And so now we're following Oz and Vic. And Vic oh, is obviously... Reba! <laughs> Vic is obviously... Or not Vic. Oz is obviously shook. Uh, with this entire situation, because he, now he's got two families pissed off at him. He's got the entire city looking for him. And, you know, obviously in this case, he wants to make sure he protects the women in his life. And the main one being his mother. So, so you, you, you're going to be a little upset with me because when, well, first of all, we saw why he had to leave her. I was, you know, it wasn't exactly that he, that was his first option. It was his only option because, uh, 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 Mrs. Maroney, uh, mm -hmm. let it loose before she start pew pewing everything that, uh, you know, Oz was the one that killed her brother. And so it, at that point, there was going to be no coming back from that, anyways. He had to shift and try to save his life with old girl and, and, and damn <laughs> Sophia because she can't save your life right now. So uh, they end up getting out of that. And it's like, all right, well, yeah, no, pull off because she will kill me right now. Like, let's go. Yeah. Uh, only option is to become an apex predator, uh, and in in that he, he he sets off on his Tariq arc, right? <laughs> he sets off on his Tariq arc. <laughs> Somehow he finds his merry band of guys who've just been waiting around to flip on the Maronis, while also Sophia rounded up a bunch of guys who are ready to flip on the Maronis. It's like y'all split a pool of the same people, or are these the same mm -hmm. guys taking money from both of y'all? You know what I'm saying? It's just like yeah. how many disaffected underbosses underlings of these crime families can there be that are willing to go against the falcons you know at, at, at war you know so this is just that that part was a little interesting it was you know a little bit convenient plot sure. um but i do agree with the reasoning right like it's it's we're, we're burned both ways um the only way to 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 do this is try to get the try to get the product back and take everybody else out mm-hmm well, he did come up with a pretty good idea of finding the kid on TikTok or whatever that was, some kind of social media live mm -hmm. video. And uh, that kid was an idiot. I like the way that they set that scene up with him putting on his headphones so he couldn't hear anything. Dummy. Uh, right. 
Uh, and then they went ahead and took him, went ahead and uh, tried to use him as leverage to get those mushrooms back. I thought Oz had a great plan. Um, it was all coming together into a goddamn fire system. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Mr. Krabs and his wife, you know, they think. <laughs> they think yeah, no, cool. okay, so it, it had a couple of hiccups, right? Because obviously the the guard is is weak as hell, uh, and 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 apparently the the uh, security at Arkham is lackluster. They acting like Trump's uh, Secret Service detail right now. <laughs> so I just, I just man just throw on a jacket and sneak out of Arkham. The hell, right. I remember playing that game. That shit is a maze. How the hell do you get yeah. out of there? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, there, there's that, and then there's also the uh, the snafu. Oh yeah, it, I guess now if you look at it, if he wasn't so damn brutal, and 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 burned a mother and their child in front of him, then the fire extinguishers never go off, and the room, and the mushrooms mm -hmm. are not ruined. Yeah, like if yep. he doesn't burn them alive, which he was gonna have to do something because obviously they was planning to, to to shoot his ass anyways. They had the guys that was coming out of the offices and shit on the catwalk, so mm -hmm. it it wasn't gonna be fair play either way. Um, but again, if he wasn't so brutal, if he maybe would have just gave him two bullets to the head and then shot the other guys, then you know, you no, no fire, okay no fire him. extinguisher. Yeah, the mushrooms are fine, but no, no sooner than he gets safety or gets to safety, sees that they're mostly destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was all of his own doing, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he was able to uh, salvage a couple of barrels, it looks like, mm -hmm. uh, which I don't know if that will beget more and he just needs time or well, obviously he needs another time. scientist. Right. So I think that guy in the next episode, the one who was working it with Sophia uh, when when mm -hmm. she showed eyes the mushrooms, he's going to become key. Uh, there's going to be there's going to be a race to try and go grab him. Um, because they know they have to rebuild what they lost. So if he ain't got nothing, at least he got a couple pods, right? So it's like, you know, whoever gets to him first is probably going to have a pretty, pretty big advantage. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, and then obviously Oz's mom is is going through some sort of dementia. She's talking to Vic. This if... relationship is so sick. It, it's so <laughs> weird. Oh yeah, um, the, it's, the, like an, the... it's like an odd little. Um, no, 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 not that. It's just, it's like an odd torture. It's like you can't really be mad at her because she's losing her mind, right? Like if she can't, she has, if she didn't have a filter before, she absolutely doesn't have one now. And, and sure. she's constantly slipping into mania. Um, But at the same time, it's like some of this is just her and what, what, what her, you know, what she feels like she lost and her trauma. And it's like all of that is built around me not being a bigger, badder criminal. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. I yep. didn't successfully murder an entire family, and she's so disappointed in me that, like, I can't touch her, mm -hmm. right? But then, obviously, she has her own, you know, qualms to deal with the situation. She thought she was, you know, going to be living good, and then all of a sudden, she's back at, at you know, a, a project where she lost her kids. So, mm -hmm. it, it, it was a lot going on there. It's just, it is a very torturous relationship that he has with his mom because, like, he has to protect her. He has to do everything he can to take, take care of her. But, but, but it is such a awful visit every single time. It <laughs> It'd be one thing if she was upset because she's in danger. She wants to protect him or, yeah, or he's putting her in danger. It's no, you ain't killed it. You ain't, y'all ain't beat him or shot him yet. Y'all ain't beat him up or shot him yet. Like, damn, yeah. big slime. Yeah. Shit. That's it's nuts. Yeah, she's not she's not worried about not being in danger. She's worried about him not becoming the next big man. I ain't, ain't beat him up yet. Shit. Y'all, y'all get sweet. Crazy. Uh okay. And then I think it was it in episode five where she took out the entire family. Uh was no, that, that was four. That was four. Four yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So five, wow. she starts to reconstitute. She brings in the newer guys, lets them know how it's gonna be. We're going by the gigantes now. Oh, I'm sorry, that's also, what I meant. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Towards the end, she links up with my boy Clancy Brown and lets him know, no, after we just murdered your henchman outside for no apparent reason, apparently, we're going to leave you alive and we're going to join our families together and stop this fighting. Well, why you have to shoot my man? Why you couldn't just, hey, guns down, let's have a chat. Right. Got, got my homeboys outside, pointed the gun at me all the way in here. Like, hold on, man, there's a different way to go about this. 
Yeah. Um, but obviously it worked, right? And, and the enemy of my enemy. Um, we'll, we'll see if that that marriage lasts as long as Sophia needs it to. You know, right now, obviously, she needs the bodies with the amount of people she took out in the gassing. So, and she doesn't have the full support of the law enforcement in Gotham right now uh, because the loss of Johnny Vitti. So, obviously, the uh, Maronis will help with some of that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. Um, I don't know. Obviously, she's a little troubled, so she's making some decisions that are a little shaky. But overall, I, I just don't think there's anything that this character can do that won't make me enjoy watching more. Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm, I'm, I am very, um, very interested in, in where this is going, man. Now... I do, as this this kind of curves to an ending, I want us to start breaking back towards the greater happenings of, you know, you know who here in Gotham. He doesn't have to pop up. I would like it if he pops up. Doesn't have to. Um, but, it, you know, l- let it play a role. Because some of this is getting a bit loud, you know, and you would think he would, you know, at least inquire or, you know, something would happen to show that he's aware of what's happening the comings and goings you know he's not totally oblivious i don't think Mm -hmm. (coughs) this is all post batman uh the the first batman first battinson so i would assume he's aware of of, uh, oz and and what he's got going on here what he's trying to amass at least so then it sounds like you would be okay with the character not explicitly showing up as long as we get a sense that a he's reference, you know, uh, oh, something's going on over here with the what's it call it with, with homeboy, you know what I mean? Something like that. It doesn't have to directly be him. But again, I, I don't want us to forget why we're here. You know, it, it's been a very good show. I, I, I've been pleasantly surprised that they've been able to do this without even mentioning him. You know, they've mentioned the events, but not him directly. So. Uh, it's been good so far. And, and if they ended it without doing it, it wouldn't make it terrible. I'm just saying what I would like to see. Would it still be one of the best shows of 2024 if that did not happen to you? Yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. It would be on that yeah. list. Absolutely. I, I, again, not not. it wouldn't totally kill it. Again, I just think that... Uh, Especially with this project, because of the, you know, the, the creative vision of Reeves and what he's kind of set them on their course with. It, it can be very hard to or it, easy, I guess, to forget that it is a superhero project or, or it's a comic book mm-hmm. project. Um, Especially given so how it, it, real it feels. It's so good. You don't want it to dangle out by itself. You want it to. You want it to assist in in helping promote other projects, even if it's the next Batman movie. So, you know, don't 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 have a wasted opportunity to promote. You know, they uh they had um the Riddler's uh insignia, if you will, on the billboard yeah. in one of the episodes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not good that. enough for you. No, it's, I mean, it's not. <laughs> no, good good sign, good sign, good Easter egg. No, that's not enough. All right, well, I guess that works. Anyway, uh, any other thoughts on episodes four or five? That's it for me. Give us your thoughts on both episodes here in the comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe again. We're going to be doing these probably in twos because of how they release. So uh, we'll probably be back around this is four and five, around episode seven. Mm-hmm. Uh, pop back in with us uh, for another review. Absolutely. Uh, like you said, make sure you subscribe because we'll be talking about this going forward and make sure that you like the video uh, and check out some of the other shows that we review. We, we've done quite a few HBO Max shows. We've done uh, superhero shows. We've done quite a bit. So make sure you uh, check them out. Peace.